Happy hey. Wednesday, Mr. LeBay. How are you? I am doing well today. Had a nice day at work, and I'm happy to be here. Nice. Happy to be here myself, too. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we had a little unfinished business from last Wednesday. Business. 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 However. All right. Uh, yeah, I think uh, you know we, we have a lot of other variations on way to attack people from behind, and uh, yeah, I think we should you know, get into these full Nelsons and just yeah, you know, maybe visit some of the jokes and just see where the night goes. You know, I I think I know I'm feeling a little frisky today. I had that extra little bit of caffeine and a little a couple extra hours of sleep, so uh, I say let's let's jump around a little bit. Let's have some fun and look at ways that uh, multiple ways we can try to accomplish these goals, things that can happen, and uh, how to respond to them. We get full of bang. Yeah, full of bay. <laughs> All right, All let's right, hit so, it. Yeah. Yeah, happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, so tonight we are going to continue on what we started last week, basically attacks from behind. Uh, we're going to start tonight with uh, another concept from Joker Review called High Hand Hoof Punch. It's at the very end. Uh, but if I can borrow Mr. Harper, the attack is a turn around. You tell the guy to turn around. It's a half health. All right. This is that basically holds somebody like somebody pounding or secure or whatever. And so as that is coming in, I'm staying there, and that comes in, oh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to sink and buckle our arms down and trap to prevent it from getting all the way up. So sink down. From here, we're going to grab these fingers, these hands, work in, work in, and there's four. <laughs> okay? So we'll go slow. So first thing is this, if you feel this come in, you sink down and tuck your arms to your side. Grabbing like here, start rotating their hands out, tucking an elbow in from one side, skirting off to that side. From here, you bring this arm up in and around into this position. All right, let's just get there to start. All right, and then we'll look at popping them to the ground. All right, make sense? You'll probably need Let's someone start. similar to your height. Yeah. Or if there's a huge height disparity, it'll be really weird putting a full nose on. Yeah. Marta. So on this, this is coming in. I'm actually going for the fingers on this. I'm not actually going for the hand. I'm actually going for the fingers on this. Because that little piece there, boom, I can get maybe a nice quick break if he's not expecting it. If I miss it, I grab it. I can actually maybe snap one finger, which will prevent him from wanting to grab and probably back off real quick. So I'm going for these fingers because I get a little extra flexion here. As I suck this elbow, note the position of my hand. If I'm on his hand, I have a weird cockeyed position. Here, that's a lot harder for him to get out of. Okay? So I'm cranking these fingers back, getting my elbow in, doing it on both sides. Because I don't know which side's gonna be great. I mean, man, try this side, does it work? Oh no, now I get this side. Oh, okay. <laughs> then we work it from there. Okay? So we're on the fingers on this, which is unique once it's top down. Okay? Alright, go ahead. Not bad. Okay, so far not bad. Not bad. Uh, hard, hard, hard. Yeah. So now, after we've gotten to this point in time, he's grabbed. Boom. We're not, I remember we're sinking from our butt back in, getting my fouls. Get me in here. This is this time going to pull up. Cross and under his armpit. Okay? This isn't gonna be down here. This is actually quite a good little tie-in. <laughs> okay? Alright? I'm not gonna be lax days ago and just you know try to take his arms like, oh hey, fall over. He can totally resist that. Okay? This is pulling through and up, and this is coming down and in. So I have an arm bar with his own arm. Okay? And that's what prompts a forward roll. Getting he could get out of this. He could easily pull and stand up and get out of this. That's a different story, all right? So we're pulling this arm through, tucking up into his armpit, pushing down on the shoulder as we push this arm through. Okay? All right, so this, this is tight up here. Go ahead. It's the same effect as, as lacing the arm. Uh, so one of, the, one of the errors people can make with this idea is, is they've sunk, they've gotten under here, they're looking good, they've, they've gotten themselves some working space, they start to come in underneath, but maybe this person's strong or, or they're not really moving their body as much, and they bend over at the hip here. Leads you to a headlock. Uh, great, you still got some fingers, but now you're doing headlock escapes and you're a little tied up. So let's not do that. Let's 
use doko no kamai in that moment to get through here. Now, that, now we're having a bit easier of a time. We want to keep our posture, right? Structure, structure first. Please keep your structure. Have fun. In other words, move your body out of the way and not just move their arms. Yeah, just a quick point. Get my hands here, and from here I start trying to wipe my arm. I, I won't be able to get it. He still has a lot of compression here with his elbows. So the first thing we're going to do is after beating the head a couple of times, maybe kicking the groin. Um, is I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to push him out like this. Now that I, just that compression just moves about a ton. Now I can easily slide right in there and go. Okay. So the first thing when you do these fingers is to is to grab them, pull them back, and face them out. So, okay. Oh my God. All right. They'll help. They'll take that pressure that they have on your elbows on your side out of the way. Quite a bit. Go. So uh, everyone's getting the, the basics of this uh, here, which is uh, which is getting up, kind of getting that little arm bar action going. Uh, let's up the ante just a little bit, just a hair, just a hair. Right now, here's our attack. <laughs> That's our attack. Uh, so Matt is letting me get this full Nelson, which is two hands behind the head, full Nelson. Half Nelson is one hand or the other. We're going to kind of put a little bit more pressure on Matt here, so I'm going to have you defend, okay? Uh, where I'm going to be coming in, and I want to get those hands up behind his head. Notice that there is some displacement. He got pushed forward. He got bodied a little bit. I might even get a hand up here if, he, if he's not early enough, but he's still got one hand. And he can do the technique with just with just one hand as far as uh, building an escape out of that and breaking some fingers. It's easy for us to forget that we're not just bending the fingers to escape, we're breaking the fingers here. <laughs> and we're break, we're yeah, we're continuing to break. That gets lost in translation. Watch so. your face, attackers, watch your face because that will get a bind. You know, shot back and headbutt back into your face. So if you like your face, tuck your chin down. So, so attackers, now you're moving. This is coming in, and you're trying to get up there and control that head. That's your, that's what your job is. Have fun. So, uh, yes, by a lot of people, there's another option in there too. So we got Matt coming in after me. Here, I see a lot of people, yeah, they're kind of, not say coming up short, which isn't a massive problem, but they get to go here. All right. Shift him onto his side. Take him right straight down if you want. Okay. It'll be less of a roll, more of kind of a twirl down. But, so again, actually, move our arms so you can see. Oh. Whoa. Here. So I've gotten, I'm kind of having gotten out of the way totally. Just happened to be the way that was. Just gonna shift him over a little bit onto that foot. Here. Nice. <laughs> Drop him down now. Do you guys see Mr. White's body moving back through that leg? It's not just a stationary woo, yeah. kind of deal. There's actually movement there too. Yeah. So. I'm not doing it with just a leg. I'm actually like getting set and then up. I mean basically it's almost like I'm doing a variety of to a point at that point in time. Okay, be careful. That's a, it's a very fast drop. Be a little looser on the hands too. Just um, the reason why this works the way that it does is because their hands are open. They're actually trying to achieve a technique that they can't do with close hands. If I'm, I'll be the back guy. I'll be the, uh, the bouquet here. If I'm coming through and I close my fist, haha, uh -huh, you can't get my fingers. I've been very good. Uh, he comes through. He closes his fingers so I can't get him. Great. Bam, bam. <laughs> you're, you're creating all sorts of passes for him. You can always take a thumb and start to break a thumb. Uh, you can always take this thumb from the inside and break it out that way. Uh, if I can't get those fingers, I'm not gonna waste time with it. I'm gonna treat this just like I'm, yeah. Oh, now those fingers are opened up. We're gonna treat this much. Oh, oh shoot, I lost it, no big deal. <laughs> Sweet. We're having a great time. We're having a lot of fun here. Fun. So it, it, bear in mind, if they do that, this isn't available for you unless you do something that opens the hands back up. You can break the thumb there if, if you can get a grip on it. It's this nice little sideways turn. Hard to show. Yeah, here you go, camera. 
Okay. Uh, you're, you're, you're turning it around the central point, or beat the hell out of them until they until they open up their hands. Yeah, a couple of shots to the face will probably make them not want to hold their hands. Most like people that, like won't. That. Yeah, they won't sit here like Come this. Come on, I can take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they won't do it. I'll tell you what. If you don't believe me, do this. Let your partner headbutt and kick you, and, t and see how many hits you can take before you find <laughs> <laughs> the shot. Okay. The over and unders. Um, Max, how are you, bro? So chances are that you know we're matched up with people who are roughly the same size and stuff like that. If they have massive paws that you have to deal with and they're slippery and stuff like that, that one handy grab is, is kind of it's not the greatest position. All right, I mean easily easy to slip out of here. But we've got this here, we've got them, we've worked into one. I kind of don't have to worry about this hand too much right now. I can just now replace and come over here and now put both these hands on this one. <laughs> that's the flip punch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's an early Yaku actually. Wow. Uh, uh, whoa. Here. For all this. So, so elbowing me, I have this turned as much as I can. This is. Okay. Then I get to early Yaku. I have this here, so this elbow to the face is actually going to be very hard for him to pull off right now. Just because his fingers are wrenched so far back, he'd have to pull his fingers out and his hand back. If I was like this, though, that could come in. So you have to pull these fingers back, all right, to make this very hard. So really locking this hand in from really being able to slip out, be pressed about. You can't because the joint's at a bad angle. Up here, step forward. <laughs> all right. Come out with Smart. <laughs> All right. But you want to see the hand work. You want to see what the hand is doing. didn't like Arden, I would shift him forward and then pull his arm up. Which would either pull his arm out or maybe flip him one or the other. But since I like Arden, <laughs> the nice part, Arden. <laughs> Here, I'm going to lead him out. I'm going to extend his hand and I'm going to pull it back when he was pulled. Okay? Make sense? And it's like, God damn. <laughs> All right, let's go to fun. Be careful. It's a tenuous position right, okay. to roll for. So one quick thing, just point of clarification. Uh, like, where are you so, let's just focus on the seconds. This hand, remember, these are on the finger, right? The, this hand, my right hand, if I'm going this side, is on my finger. As I go, this is now on his palm, okay? So I have this hand turning this way towards back. And I have my finger, and I have these fingers being pulled back up. I have this very tight to me. All right, so I'm not, I'm not replacing. I'm actually just in this position. The shoulder helps prevent all that. All right, that's where, we, that's where we're working from. We can take him out and throw him from this position. Another option too, which I've shown some people, is I just step straight back and I keep that with me. I keep that with me as I. I let up. That would just be shh, rice krispies all in through there. So again, first hand's on the fingers, pulling them back. Second hand goes to the palm, and it's going to keep twisting it in. Fingers are being pulled up. This is being twisted. We're working from here. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, good. It's a nasty position, isn't it? Not. Flux. Uh, let me borrow you, Arden. Uh, which shoulder? This is a good one, we'll use this one, okay? So, I'm not, as this is coming out, stepping way out here. He can just rotate, he can move around, he can rotate. That's too much, that's too much movement for my pleasure. As this is going, note this shelf that I have with my arm here. I'm carrying that over across my back to this shoulder. Now I'm right in there. 
Now that backup is very hard to do because my shoulder's in the way. All right, so I'm really almost wedging through here to get him. Now from here I can adjust to wherever I want to go, but that's why I have my arm in here. So a lot of people get out here, which is fine. Trust me, you get out here, you do this and you get out here fast, <laughs> you'll, you'll do some destruction. There's no doubt about it. But if you want this more effortless, use this, use this. Like right now, his shoulder is gonna ride right across my back. Right the shoulder. And then just right there. Okay, we're gonna make this efficient. All right, go ahead. Uh, I got a great question from Mr. Polish. Uh, and I'll tell you what, uh, can I actually have you as my, as my attacker here? The question was, uh, well, geez, we're over here talking and uh, Mr. Polishuk makes has made his money playing the piano here. Uh, and uh, we're opening a lot. Yeah, actually, let's switch roles. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. He starts off the technique. We're doing good. He's getting to the outside. Elbow space, good. Here's here's where my wrist is. The question was, how the heck can I maybe save myself from this? Uh, this is a nasty nasty kind of position to have your wrist locked up. Well, generally speaking, if we wait too long, <laughs> the wrist is gonna get broken. Let's see if we can reverse time a little bit. There we go. So one way we might try to escape this, we're not gonna practice it, but I want folks to know, as that comes over, we're moving our body and we're bringing our elbow with us. So so here we are. Oh, no, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't leave us there, but now we have, now we have our own potential counters coming down the road here. So my wrist is getting turned this way. Do, do yourself a favor. Turn your wrist as much as you can, as much as you safely can. Now, take note of how much strain and stress is in your wrist. Bend your elbow. You feel a little safer there. You're now having to apply more force from your hand, yeah? Okay. Also, extend your arm. Same, same thing. You can also have your partner do this if you're having issues with your hand strength. But you'll feel the most strain on that wrist here. It tends to go away out there, and it tends to go away in here. It doesn't mean it can't break here, but uh, one of the things that I know I will try to do, this is happening, I'm gonna try to move my body with it. Uh, other times, uh, you'll see people do this a lot. Uh, actually, go ahead and start and start the twist on me. You'll see people do this a lot. Other way? Yeah, th this way. You'll see people do this a lot. What a great way to be compliant. <laughs> what fantastic compliance. Uh, people will do that oftentimes, especially when they feel it coming up into the shoulder. They'll turn their back and they'll go away from it. Uh, but I think that that puts your back to somebody and makes you open to other attacks and pins your arm to your back. I don't think that's a great position. So as this twists, you might try to save your hand. You can try to prevent a wrist, a, a, a lot of wrist locks by grabbing your own wrist is like a, shit, I don't know what to do, ah! <laughs> you can grab your own wrist to create some stability, but it's gonna be temporary and your hands are tied up. You can move your body into a spot where this technique doesn't work as well. Notice I said move your body. We're not doing this. <laughs> so, not gonna practice it, but it was a really good question, so I wanted to make sure it just got addressed in that way. Let's move um, on to the option where they do turn, yeah, because it's okay. a good one. So, um, um, so coming in here, um, ah, oh my god, oh, I've got nothing here. And he, he realizes it's going, so he's going to actually rotate in to put this behind his back to save it. Whoa, like that. Because it just made sense for the brief second that works. I still have him. All right? This is not, I'm still applying this. All right? All right, I'm just going to pull that up his spine. It's just very uncomfortable. Gun to here. He sees that he, whoa, makes sense, right? It makes sense. He may think he could possibly maybe get that elbow in there for a little back. Just, okay, I'm going to keep this going up. I'm going to keep that turn. I'm going to keep that twist. I'm going to bash out that leg as that keeps going up. Be very careful with this, but this would be, I'd pull that. There's not a lot of, a lot of strength in that human being at that point in time in that inflection. Um, but perhaps you can see. Oh, 
not pulling it. Right there. It's still being put on. I'm pulling it up the spine as I'm rotating to the point where it can go. And I'm keeping going up the spine. Okay. So I think you need to just store them up the door. Oh, yeah, absolutely good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Multiple things you can do from there. I mean, this is, I'm, I'm showing you the nasty, the nasty way. Ooh, I can actually just, okay, now it's <laughs> No, no, pretty easy. I can even, if I feel like he's getting a little too unruly, I still have a good grip here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Easily. You're right. Correct. It's bullshit. Here. Hand stays, left hand stays. Right hand goes under to the belt, pushing in as a that would be with all the <coughs> fighting vigor that I could muster at that point. 
Okay? I'm trying to separate this out with the twist. All right. Uh, I'd like to mix up fruits. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, please. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I, I like see it. people kind of milling around like, ah, arms are a little, a little smoked right now. Hopefully you don't have to sign any expensive contracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a lot of work to put on a union. Okay? okay? So, why, right, let's review the, don't be more here, let's review the Ketsumiyaki that we looked at last Wednesday. All right, who remember this? Uh, okay. That's what I thought. Sure. So, <laughs> this is, again, attacking the time where somebody gets chilled. Ooh, you guys advice to try to put on this weird choke on this small choke. Alright, as he's going for it, wind a little bit, I'm gonna grab oh, it looks like I tuck my chin in there. Alright, because if he's choking against my face, it doesn't hurt as much. He has a big plank on though. Now I can bite him, I can feel it works too. I'm gonna sit. Now I'm here. Alright, I'm gonna start making it down, holding on to this. From here, I'm gonna wrap myself around his body with this side, trapping his hip to take him down. What a lot of people will do, what a lot of people did last week, is this is clean, they got here fine, but then they stepped out with this leg to here. Now, can you work from here? Absolutely. Okay, you can absolutely work from here. But what I really want to see, because this is a very unique position, is this hip, stepping around, blocking that leg off. That's a pretty easy takedown once you can get it. All right, any size and strength don't really matter on this one. Like I said, you're basically doing my only karate on their arm, your neck. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, let's give that a shot. I think most of you guys have seen this so far. Please inform your partner if you're choking bothering Yes. So we're talking on these body, right? This is Mr. White, my bar you? How's your shoulders? Great. Great. All right, fantastic. So we're talking only Kudaki. We've been kind of working on this sort of taking space, entering in this way. That's a lot like doing only Kudaki, leading with the push, right? We, we, we all see the same motion. I've seen some folks get to the spot where they're getting most of the way through. Maybe this guy rotates a little bit. Something kind of prevents them from, from getting to where they want to go. Only Kudakis can also pull. So, as long as he's not all the way up on my back and I have a little bit of space to back up, this can also occur as well. We can drop the hip out of there to create a little, to create a little bit of space. So there's a secondary option if they're rotating out away from you. We also, we're not gonna do it tonight, but we played, what if they're kind of rotating around? Let's try, oh, we turn that into a little bit of a hip throw. We're just not doing that right now. So. I mean, they think they're at an advantage because they get their arm around your neck. You're actually at advantage because your whole body is on their arm. Mm. That's not a great place. If you have a whole body attached to one arm, you can kind of fling the person around pretty easily. It's just scary for you for a second. That's all. Yeah. Just a little fear. The alternative too is we're looking at the top of body. Yes. Yeah, sure. So there's a nice nerve cluster right in here. Oh, yeah. which I found I don't have to move, he'll go around me. All right, so I pull into this nerve cluster, he really doesn't have the, he wants to pull away, but this hand's committed. So I pull into it, and he actually pulls out with this side, which is actually nice. Now, not everybody may work like that. Kyle, this happens too. But now he's got a new position as if I would have ended over here, right? He did it himself, all right? So what I'm doing is I'm not, and the thing is I'm not driving into them as much as I'm actually strumming them. Uh, you see it now? Again. As you strum it, you make an F sharp. Right. I'm actually going across <laughs> them. So I'm not just driving them. I'm actually starting one side, kind of pulling in through them. So it gets, ah, and it gets this reaction. It may or may not, so that's why we're doing the whole technique. But if we can throw that in there, as this is going on, we can not just throw that in there too. Oh, man. Oh, it's just so fun. Wow. Okay, so a couple of minutes, throw some nails in there, have fun. Good times, good times. Good times. I, I know we're taking a couple extra breaks, but we, I'm just hearing great questions tonight. Wow, look at you guys, on top of things. I like exploring this. So, Here's what probably won't happen. Oh, you got it. <laughs> that probably 
probably won't happen. Most people that I've ever seen, when they think they got a choke, he goes to move, they try to keep that choke on. They might rotate with, they might decide to abandon this and come out to the side. They might uh, double down and try to get this position consolidated a little bit by taking some space. Uh, there's a lot that they might do to, to defeat whatever it is they think is going on. Uh, so let's let's play with that for just a second. Uh, so go ahead and start your technique. Okay, I've kind of had he's gotten perpendicular to me. You guys can see the relationship. Here's my hip line. Here's his. All he has to do is back up and bring my elbow with him. Now, oh, he found a new Kadaki again. Uh, same thing, he goes to move. I kind of stay flat to his back, but I'm moving. He's loading his hips underneath me. Ooh, now I'm, all of a sudden I'm loaded in for a throw. Uh, he goes to, uh, he goes, my attack is maybe not pulling, but I can grab this guy from behind and there's a push. Now he rotates and does the first hit. Ooh, and boy, he's right there already. So different attacking dynamics might create a different opportunity for this to work well, or, or work better or work worse for you. Uh, but let's respect that those dynamics are in place and that we have multiple answers to those dynamics. We're looking at just one or two. Yeah. Just one or two races. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Beautifully done. All right, come on. I tell you about that. All right. How's everybody doing? Come on in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, um, Saturday, Saturday, uh, actually it's to you, it's the band, I'm winning, um, uh, okay. Well, thanks for that. I will be a good shit. Hi. Uh, I hope it's a fun wedding. It'll be a, I'm a best man, it'll be a good time. Um, so we're gonna look at the last part of this kind of attack from behind series, and we're looking at kind of like, um, yeah, hugs, and some kind of coming in, that we have to convert to long term. So that's a, it's a different reaction, it's actually a lot of, you know, pretty, uh, Kind of stuff, but there is uh, some other things that we can kind of look at too. Actually, this version of it, getting kind of this tight kind of can actually be done from there also. But there's some really cool uh, things you can do with the fingers, which actually are really uh, cool for me. Cool for, cool for the person doing it, not, not cool for the person getting the touch. Um, questions, thoughts? Okay. We gotta give them a thought. Thanks for staying safe. No injuries. That was uh, kind of a nasty one. So, uh, so appreciate everyone taking good care of each other. Congratulations. Nice job, guys. Oh, another one. Nice job, guys. Come ready to kick ass on Saturday. Bye, <laughs> right, Good job. Thank you, sir.